This is where I think it's really cool. This is really well done. I really like this. This is the cat from Control Freak. It's gonna be starting at $2.99. I don't know if this goes up in price, but it did say starting at $2.99. Uh, we have our PCB here. Comes with this cute little cat sticker. I'm hoping all, they all come with these cute little stack, uh, cat stickers, not stack stickers. We got our plate. I believe there's the O-ring and stuff in here. Yeah, O-ring, so this is an O-ring build. We got our daughter board and some screws. Thank you, you're possum. Cute. And we have the keyboard here. It is red. I would say this is pretty medium bezels. I think the anno quality isn't the absolute best on this. Um, there is some spotting, and I don't know if you can really tell. There is a little bit of spotting. I wish the anno was just a tiny, tiny bit better. But for, I guess, the lack of a better word, it's consistent. So it almost looks like there's a texture on it. I wouldn't say it's end of the world, but if you're looking for a super polished uh, piece of metal with uh, really good anodization, this probably isn't it. Here, let me see if I can just quickly, this is gonna be so bright by the way. It's a little tough to tell. I'll have to show you guys some macro photos, but it's a little bit inconsistent. This is where I think it's really cool. This is really well done. I really like this. I think this is, uh, this is really, really fun. Yeah, I think that if they have done a, a uh, Cerakote on this, perhaps, instead of doing something like an anodization, this might have been really nice. But it has like a really cool like raw finish where the, where the cutouts are. It is different. I like it. Uh, truth be told, if this was just a regular keyboard with, you know, O-ring mount and just a weight on the back, I probably wouldn't have uh, look, taken a look at it. Yeah, the screw placement's a little wonky, but you know what? I kind of, it kind of goes with the, the chaos of what's on the back here. I would have wished they had just done like here and here and here and here. That would have made a lot more sense. So screw placement isn't like the the best in the world, but you know what? It doesn't really take away from, from this for me. Cause I will say at least it's consistent here and here. So it is technically has some symmetry. Uh, no, it's, it's red. It might be just the, the lighting today. The lighting today is just natural light. And also I think Fuji cameras aren't the best at reproducing red. So it always comes off as a little bit more magenta, but you can see this is the raw finish with the machine marks underneath it looks like. Or I don't know if it's lasered in, but it has like this line, this groove, which I kind of like to be honest, it gives the keyboard some texture. It's really cute. And then they have a little cutout on the weight here. So this is actually the most deep part of it. This little, you know, frustration. But other than that, we have a pretty standard side profile. It has a small curve on the side here, which I think is a fun touch. Gives it a little bit of uh, some interest on the side profile. The back is pretty standard fare. The USB-C cable is slightly recessed and then kind of gets hidden behind this top piece over here. And then we have our basic front over here as well. Looks nice though. And then we have the weight on the inside. I like what they did on the inside, by the way. I, um, I prefer when we have weights that are both internal and external, because I've noticed when keyboards just have an external weight, um, and, and even sometimes even the same goes with just internal, but more so just external, it still can be a little bit, you know, bell-like. Yeah, pretty fun looking board. Again, Anno, I wouldn't say this is the best Anno. It's, it's really rare that I'll, I'll have to make a comment about anodization, uh, but I don't think this is like perfect, perfect Anno. However, if you end up buying it, you probably will still like it. It's not like it's the end of the world here, but it's still important that we comment on that. Now let's take a look at the PCB and the plate and such. Uh, but for me, it would be a display piece most likely showing off that back. Yeah, it's a really cool back. I have to give it to them. They did a pretty cool job of making that fun. It's one of the first keywords I've seen like that too, where they've incorporated a character into the weight instead of just making like, you know, your standard weight and then it just has like an engraving. Oh, this is fun. A lot of character to this board. Yes, there is a lot of character. You can you can tell a lot of, uh, I wouldn't even say passion, but a lot of thought went into this. Okay, okay. And it is VIA compatible. It hasn't been imported into VIA yet. Uh, they did mention that to me right before the stream, but we have the JSON file. They might be a cat person. Perhaps, perhaps they might be. Oh, that's cute. They put my little logo on that. That is cute. By the way, this is a sponsored stream, by the way, guys. But obviously, as you guys saw, I am gonna be completely honest and upfront with what I see. All right, 
I guess we have to chop these things off, but pretty standard looking PCB. I wouldn't say there's a whole lot of um, stuff going on, like no ISO support, uh, which is again, fine, but you might lose some clients there. Um, but other than that, we do have two different space bars, stepped in regular caps lock, split backs. So we got everything except for ISO, which is nice. Uh, we got our universal daughter board. Great, love to see this. Pretty standard daughter board here. No quarrels with that at all. And then we have our O-ring, and then we have some extra screws here. So I think for this build today, we're gonna do 7U, split right shift. I'll do full backspace, enter, and left shift. What a cute looking PCB this is. It's an Alex O's plate. I mean, they put my logo on it, which I think is really cute. Appreciate them for doing that. But no, this is not a, like a, my plate. I didn't make this plate. Do I have permission to get your tattoo? Yeah, go for it, Abo. Get it everywhere. I love, love, love the red. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun keyboard. I think, me personally, I think I saw they have a teal on their website. I might, if I had to go for this, I'd go for teal, man. I might be more into teal than I, I am into red. I'm just taking this apart to get to the, oh, I guess I don't really need to take this apart, but I'll show you guys the internals here. I don't actually need to take this off. I thought for some reason the daughter board was underneath this. So they have another weight on the inside here, and then they have the bottom piece, which is a, it's a separate weight. Now, as Avo pointed out, there is, I don't even know what to call this, because technically the screws are in a pattern they have it underneath on top. So these two would be sort of opposites. And then these two would be here. So the screws do kind of wrap around. I don't hate it, but I think that a nicer design for this could have just been putting this screw here and this screw here. Um, I don't hate it though. I guess you know what you could do? You could put like a little piece of tape over here to kind of add a certain color to this too. Yeah, it's on the bottom. Again, maybe maybe that's not like the best design choice in the world, but I think I missed it, but where will this board run? Uh, I believe Control Freak said they're the only vendor for right now. It is gonna be in stock though. So this is not a group buy. In stock and there's only gonna be like, I believe 38 units internationally. And I'm, I think they said that they were also I don't know how many are gonna be done locally, but I think that already might have ran. This just came right off. I think the daughter board is uh, broken. Is the daughter board no good? The soldering is so little on it. We'll just solder it back on. All right, we're gonna solder the daughter board connector back on here. They're universal daughter boards, guys. So unfortunately, maybe this one here was just a bad one, but not really a, I guess, yeah, it's unified. So not really a reflection on the keyboard, just more so the daughter board, perhaps just a bad unit. Great that it uses a standard one. Yeah, I think using standard parts is 100% more my cup of tea, by the way. So this is technically two weights, albeit they are kind of smaller, which is still nice. Still respect that. Uh, and then a single piece for the frame. this way and then push down on top. Actually, no, we'll do this way. Very cool. How about Bento? You know, Bento might not actually look terrible on this, but also Bento is not my favorite set. The, world. the Mandalorian set kind of sounds like it'd be really fun for today. I'd be sort of down for Mandalorian. So if you guys want to see the bottom of the keyboard again, again, I think the weakest point on this keyboard is its Anno. Um, the Anno is a little blotchy. Everything else is so much fun on this though. I actually don't, like these screws don't bother me just cause I know that they're technically in a pattern, but some people might find this to be bothersome. It, it's a, such a nice set. I think it is such a gorgeous looking set. All right, so this is the cat sad face. I hope I'm pretty, I hope that's the actual name of the board. And it's not just like something fun they put in there. It's a fun board uh, with a external weight, internal weight, uses a universal daughter board with a pretty standard PCB. So I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, you can put whatever PCB you want in here. It does have even bezels. So if you're in the, I guess, camp where you like very even bezels, 
Um, this is probably going to be for you. Uh, it does have some side detailing as well. It's just a little curve on the side. Give it some character there. Okay, don't don't mind that at all. How are the seams? There, there are no seams on this board. And it does look like it's a little bit chunkier in the front height over here. I don't have an exact measurement of what the front height is. I couldn't find that, but let me double check to see if it's on the IC. Let me see. Front height, 20 mil. So it's exactly, maybe I did, didn't see that there. It's exactly the top end of what I would personally like. I don't think 20 mil needs a wrist rest. Uh, and then some negatives about the board. The Anno itself, I do think could have been better. It's not terrible. It does have a little bit of splotchiness to it. Consistently though, like it's not a super even coat. So again, it kind of almost looks like a texture, which is interesting in its own right. Uh, but I'd say that's probably the weakest point about this board. Other than, other than that, the design is really fun. I think this is a very fun, unique looking keyboard. And for $299, for two, a double weight here, uh, in stock. Let's see what it sounds like. Let us see what this beautiful board sounds like. We're using H1s, aluminum plate, uh, O-ring mount. H1s are good. I think H1 switches are one of the few JWK switches I actually don't mind. And I say that with the utmost love to JWK switches, because I really don't care for them at all. At least nowadays, they used to be not bad until they changed all their tolerances around for everything, like every other week. Now I could care less about them. Much, much better. The difference a little bit of extra lubricant can make. Okay, I like this. I would say this sounds exactly the way I was hoping it to sound. It sounds very O-ring board, like it, it, it's awesome, I like that. Uh, the backspace is a bit scratchy, probably because of the cherry stab. But I like it, it sounds good, it's fun design. I would say this is exactly what I would expect from a good O-ring keyboard. Um, here's what it sounds like off the desk as well, if you guys are curious. Or off the desk pad, rather. I think it sounds really good. I think they, they nailed it with sound here. Again, this is very standard O-ring. Um, nothing wrong with O-ring, by the way. Uh, I think they did a good job there. I think here, the main thing here is just, you're, you're, you'd probably be getting this for a, yes, a solid O-ring keyboard, but a really fun back piece, really fun board here with some cats. It's very thematic. Overall, pretty good. If you guys were interested in this, um, it's gonna be in stock. Uh, and then if you guys want, it's on Control Freaks website. So, pretty interesting. They have a Discord as well. I need to join their Discord as well, but uh, they have a Discord too. They seem like fun fun, fun people running the, uh, this little in-stock drop of fun little boards with uh, a love for cats. So, take care everybody. Goodbye.